Well, answer any, thanks for company. I'll answer any questions for you. <clears throat> Cardio will be more relaxed this week with no one really looking over. His, he doesn't look over his shoulder, so to speak. Um, good question. I haven't really thought about it. I just we're just you know it's a Wednesday. Just getting through practice. I, I think you know I don't want to oversimplify it. I think guys get more relaxed when they perform well in practice because then I know they're going to be ready and he knows understands the game plan and he's done a very good job. Sorry, do you think that um, went into him maybe not playing up, up to expectations early in the year, maybe that he wasn't quite as relaxed as he should have been on the field? Do you, do you think that didn't really play into I it? think those are all good theories. Those are only who knows. You know, I haven't really been in, you know, was he looking over his shoulder? And I made the comment earlier in the year, how do you play not looking over your shoulder? It's your, your quarterback at Ohio State. It's like playing shortstop at the Yankees. Yeah, you're looking over your shoulders. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm one of those ones I believe that, you're, you get more comfortable when you perform better in practice, and he performed very well. Far left, uh, Bill. Urban, I think you guys are still in the negative and turnover margin, or it's close to, to even right about now. Uh, I know you drill it. I know it's important. Do you feel like you guys are getting close to turning a corner, maybe in terms of? Turnover? Yeah, I think the last couple games we've done better. Obviously, we started the season bad and, and actually finished the season a couple times. Uh, in the, I think we had four in the last game. So, you know. Uh, that that is something you know. People ask about penalties, and and as much as we would like to be no penalties, like against, I think it was, were we zero against Rutgers? Correct. One game we had zero penalties, and uh, you know you'd like to be no penalties, no turnovers. But um, I, I were more worry about turnovers do happen. You'd rather them not happen. And what I try to do, and I really drill our staff about how are the fundamentals. You know, Jalen had a problem. He's holding the ball low. And we, I think we've. You know, you got to continue to work on that. He's, he's holding the guys are fundamentally much better with the ball now. And in terms of generating them yourselves on defense, I think the interceptions are down a bit from what they were last year. Are teams attacking your secondary any differently than they were last year? No, I, I don't believe so. I, I didn't even know we're down, and I think our guys, you know, we're top five in the country in pass defense, and we're getting after quarterbacks pretty good. So. Second row left, Lori. Coach. Um, JT, in practice this week, have you been using him as a scout team quarterback? Has he just been working with Cardell and Braxton? No, he's been working with uh, uh, Braxton. And then, uh, you know, uh, Joe Burrow is also a guy that's getting some quality reps. Is um, Steven your, your uh, scout team Mitch Leitner? Uh, yes. Uh, far left, Matt. Um, how do you, uh, you know, Cardale's done a lot for you. 10 and 0. How, how should he look at this unusual opportunity? Should he be thinking this is a chance to, you know, my chance to try to make it hard on coach to take me out of the lineup? What, what do you want? What do you want him to be thinking going in? How, how should he look at this opportunity? I guess. Oh, I, I, I would imagine I have not talked to him about this. I would imagine as a competitor and a guy that wants to play as this is a shot to uh, be the starting quarterback because you are at Ohio State. And we'll worry about next week, next week. But I, you know, he's human and he's a competitor, so I would imagine, that, you know, that uh, that's what he's doing. But we all know there's one way to do that: play well, win the game. Um, and also, you mentioned JT working with Braxton. Is, what's Braxton's week been like? Uh, is, is he, has he had to take more rest? A lot going on. Yeah, yeah. would seem to be. Uh, a lot going on. So yeah, he works with uh, Tim Beck for a, a while, and then he goes over to H a little bit, and, and just busy week. Good thing is he, you know, he's very natural at that position. Uh, second row, middle, Brian. When you face an, a team with an interim coach, does that change the way you prepare at no. all? No, he was uh, he was there, and when Coach Kill had his health issues and he stepped right in, they did a good job. So he's been there. I, I did look uh, look him up, and uh, he's been they've been together since I want to say Southern Illinois, and uh, so there's there'll be no change. Do you look more at those games from 2013 when? He stepped in and no, coached no, because the coordinators are still running the show, and you know. Uh, Bill, Darren Lee obviously had a breakthrough year last year. He's how, how would you describe the way he's played this year? He's playing really good. Uh, you'd have to ask Coach Fickle exactly, but I think he's playing excellent. You know. Is it, can you sense that offenses and offensive coordinators are approaching him, or are he's conscious of him, and making sure that that he doesn't make the kind of plays he made last year? I have no idea. Oh, uh, you mean he's not making the plays he made last year? Well, the, the, the plays at the end of the year, the explosive plays, it seems like offenses are gearing their blocking schemes to, in part to... I have no idea. 
I, I think he's playing very good. I haven't broken down that in, in that much detail. And you know, uh, when a you know, blitz and the ball goes in your hands or something, and you run 60 yards, I thought you were talking about those kind of plays. Yeah, those are a lot of times. Those are things work out pretty well for you. And if you play hard, good things happen. Any reaction to the playoff ranking uh, at three? No, I, you know, I just think those people got a tough job. I know last year this time we're 16th, and I think everybody's kind of, you know, at least everybody in the in our profession is. Let's, let's keep going, man. There's a lot of football, and how the rankings come out, I don't know. We got to worry about today was third down in red zone, and move forward. I didn't even address it with our team. You know, I, I thought I might, but we have too much to do. How about the Minnesota D? What do you see from them? Minnesota defense, yeah. uh, very good defense. Obviously, they played very passionately uh, last week. And, and did very well. Uh, two NFL corners, that's what I see. Which, uh, and I got their, my pro per personnel scout, uh, John Cooper, uh, gave me the listings. And they're two NFL guys, very good players. He consults with you each week. Absolutely. High, high level. Our left up. Urban, what effect, if any, have you seen on the team of JT suspension? No, I think this team's been through so much that uh, it's time to just go. And, and there's so much, you know, we, we try to really focus on. You've heard it a million times around our power unit. And the corner's job is to play really good as a group and grade out champions. And if uh, Braxton's taking the snaps, don't, I'm not sure. I think they're aware of it because it was such a news story. But they're, everybody just so focused on getting their jobs done that uh, I haven't felt it at all. And you, you talk every week, obviously, your offense has to, you know, do things what the defense dictates. When a defense has two NFL corners like that, do you do you throw right at them? Do you try to like how do you react when the corners are that good? Well, uh, I think and, and they have a tendency that uh, last week against our rivals, they played almost all zero hole, which means they're daring you to take the shots and we're going to stop the run at all cost. And they put those guys out there in islands and they're very good players. So I would anticipate with Zeke that we would see some of that and it depends if we hurt them if they'll stay in it or not. But that, I think that's going to come down. That's going to be a big part of this game. Matter of fact, I know it is. And, and last couple, uh, Tim? Yeah, Urban, uh, with, with that in mind, uh, uh, obviously Minnesota was riding an emotional situation last week and stuff. Is it? Do you take that into account as you get ready for a game like this? It, it might be the other way with them, or do you just have to prepare for what you saw last week? I think uh, we have a tendency to get everyone's best swing, you know, in our stadium and nighttime at, uh, in the shoe. and. And prime time and all that. So, uh, I you you could see a little. I mean, there is some swing in them last week, and you'll get it again. And and our kids know that. I mean, everybody we face, it's you know you know here it's the biggest game, and and uh, our guys are prepared for that. And as you sit here, you've got a two-time Chicago Tribune Super Football Award winner, who's you're looking at now is a wild card. I mean, Tracy Clay's brought it up the other day on the Big Ten teleconference. Of, He's more worried about what you're going to do with him than he is with Cardale, meaning it's, what is it? I don't know. Do you have some uh, confidence in Braxton right now that you didn't have even four or five weeks ago of being able to no, use him I've, in different ways? Yeah, probably. Uh, um, I, I just think he's become a very function. He can play 40 plays now, and I'm not worried about him. First four games, you know, was he lining up wrong? Does he understand how to block? Does he understand to do the things a receiver in this offense has to do? But, you know, I just uh, – not very comfortable. You know, I just hate to think someday I'm not going to get to coach him. We've had four great, I guess, five now. No, four great years together. And uh, he, he's, he's, he, he's had an incredible week of practice. Just shows up and goes about his business. Hey, by the way, Damon Webb was kind of working into that nickel back before he had to take his uh, hiatus. Uh, is he back in the swing now? Or oh, is yeah. He in yeah, and someone said he, he was not suspended, yeah. you know, by us. He, yeah. there's, he did nothing wrong. So uh, I, I want to make sure that. It's not like he violated a team rule. He didn't do that. But, but, but is he back in the playing picture? Oh, yeah. At, at yeah. yeah it's, uh, if you remember, he had a high ankle sprain uh, about it was six weeks ago. And so it's still lingering. But he, he practiced very well this week and, and uh, worked real hard to get back at it.